everyone and welcome to my very first purse thrift store haul. So I do have a few purses that I have recently found, like <sighs> maybe over the past four months or so, um, and I have found a few cute purses that I think are worth mentioning, but um, to start off, I did, I did find these at two different thrift stores. And I do, some of them are fake, some of them are just, I don't know, like a grocery store brand probably, I don't know. I don't usually buy purses for their brand name because I mean, yeah it's nice to buy a purse but I mean I use it for everything. It goes everywhere with me and I just don't want to constantly feel like I just spent $500 on this bag nothing touched this bag. I mean, I would just feel really guilty about um, chauffeuring it around everywhere um, for what I do for daily life. So I do go and check out purses in the thrift stores. Actually, no, I think this was three different thrift stores I found these at. But I do try to find like ones that are gently used, but I do like and they do attract to my style. That's why I have such a huge uh, purse collection, but Anyways, so to start off, I'll try to do like the older purses first, but I found this purse at a thrift store, which I have already used this crap ton, and I liked this material because it was like easy washable, but the purse was in overall really good shape. I don't know anything about this, it just says MC on the inside, um, which it could be Michael Kors, I mean, I guess, but um, I don't think that it is because it does have a tag inside that says made in China. So anyways, um, I don't remember how much I paid for this one because this one is like one of the older ones, but inside it does have a zipper pocket here. It has these Velcro like little straps in here, which I, I don't even necessarily use these. Um, it also has like a spot for like pencil pens here. And then it's got the large pocket. And then in the center it's got another zipper pocket. And then on the inside here, just another same size pocket. And then it just has, um, you know, like the normal side pockets where I normally put like my lotions or uh, my business card holder or something. Usually goes in here. But then there's the back here, which is another zipper. And then there's like a little pocket here as well. Um, I guess you could put coins in this. And it might be a little hard to get out though, so yeah. And then again on the um, buckles here, it just says MC on all of the buckle straps. And then if you can see here on these buckles, there is very nice detailing on them. I do really like that. So this was a very nice bag, and most likely these bags all cost me under five dollars, so I don't usually pay more than that. And I also found. I actually have gotten a purse like this before. I actually have one very similar. But these are pretty much brand new, so I don't know if it's like a company that has them and they just donate. Um, I got this one at a Mel Trotter store. That was at a, uh, a local like Bible store. Uh, but anyways, these ones are just really kind of fun. It's a really nice uh, summer purse. It's purple, the uh, straps almost like a pearl finish and this says that it's a mod so what it said mod or is that mad by design so I don't I don't really know anything about this company either um, like I said I just buy purses because I like them and they would fit my style for something that I would use it for but on the inside here it's got the two pockets and then on the other side there is just a zipper pocket here but there is nothing on the outside so this one I paid $4.99, but I'm pretty sure that this was on a sale because they normally have on like collared stickers uh, discounts throughout the week. So, yeah, again, it's been a while, so I don't even quite remember. Um, so, here, this one is like a alligator or, yeah, it was an alligator kind of print. Obviously, it's not real, <laughs> but uh, this is just a really cute, again, purple bag just it's got the straps like this 
Um, that's another thing I always look for for a purse. If it doesn't reach up here under my arm, I will not get it. So it needs to at least come up here. Because I mean, I hold my purses like this, but sometimes I like to hold it like this, especially when I'm shopping or going through like closet racks. So, closet racks, pull racks. <laughs> but on the inside here, it's got it's the same brand as this last one, so I don't know if it's just what it is, but there's another zipper pocket on this side. And on this side it's just got the again the little holes. It's actually you only got one on this side. It just is made in China. Okay. So. Um at that same thrift store. Um this one was a little bit more expensive, probably because they thought it was like authentic. I don't even know. But this says here that this is a Gucci purse. You guys can see that. This is not a actual Gucci purse. This is a uh, fake. Um, there are certain ways you can tell about fake purses. Um, I've kind of learned over time how to spot fakes, but yeah, I think this foundation is a little too dark for me. But sorry, um, I'm trying out my baby concealer. So if you guys watched that video, I just uh, applied makeup for that sole purpose of trying it out. But anyways, it says on the inside, it says Gucci, made in Italy, but then on the inside there's also a tag that says made in China, like red flag right there. So, and plus with Gucci, they also have like, they label their serial number, I believe is what it is. Um, that's usually in here, but again, this one is a fake. So, uh, this was a green tag and it was $9.99, but it was half off, so it was five bucks. So, you know, I'm like, oh, what the heck will think I have a Gucci purse but I know it's not real <laughs> yeah it's just a little purse and again if it's over the shoulder but again I do hold purses like this so this one will just probably be one of those purses I might use every once in a while because I'm not a small purse kind of person I usually have a big chunky wallet so yeah if you guys would like to see what's in my bag video you guys can you know just let me know in the comments or give this video a thumbs up so yeah, um, so then the most recent thrift store, I got this really cute gold uh, clutch, I guess, and then it's got like actual metal, metal straps here. Um, the clip up here is actually a little gold crown, so it's really cute, and this thing smells like brand stinking new. Um, this one did have a price tag on it of $5.00. So this was actually $2.50 for the day, because it was half off everything, but yeah, it smells like brand new, like it's never been used, but inside it's just black, there's no pockets or anything, and again, this is just one of those purses that you have an outfit to go with this, it's going to be like a one-time purse, and you're good, so really cute find here. Someday maybe I'll have like so many purses that I can just like customize them and then like do something cool with them and then just sell them because I'll have so many. Uh, this is just a random, this was in the purse section as well, that was labeled 50 cents, so it's a quarter. I'm actually going to use it for, well I think it is a pencil case, but I'm going to use it as a pencil case, so yeah. Gotta have your cuteness in there. Okay, then next is this black purse that was priced at $4, so I got it for $2. And in the front here, it's got this little heart. And also a pocket that is got just a magnetic buckle. And it's just, it's a pretty decent sized pocket here. And then on the inside, it does have another one of those magnetic clasps, so you can close it. And then there is a zipper pocket. But then also on the same side, which is kind of stupid, I think, they also have the little pockets here. Um, for me, it's like, you know, I shove so much in the zipper pocket already and then the, you know, other pockets, I feel like there wouldn't be much room left to stick like a lotion or something in there. But yeah, so it's just a black purse that's shiny, easy to clean. Again, I love that part about it. And then for my next purse, it is this brown, brownish gray with gold. Um, this one's not as much my style, but I did like the gold, uh, you know, like the hardware on it. And it does, it is really nice. It's big. That's what I do like that about it. 
it does have a zipper that closes. This one needs a little uh, work for washing, but this one actually felt like leather almost. Um, this is Eldo, if you, A-L-D-O, if you guys know anything about that. But then there is a zipper pocket on this side. And on this side there is two pockets again for like a lotion or something. For my final purse, I, like this was the best deal out of all of them. And I can't believe that I found this. As far as I know, um, this is official. Of all the information that I have learned about purses, that this is a official Louis Vuitton purse. So it is a small one, but you know, that's okay. I don't have any Louis Vuitton, any kind of products. But um, basically, this was just sitting up front on the checkout counter, kind of like there's jewelry in their checkout counters too, and it was actually on top of that, kind of hidden underneath a plant. So I'm like, uh, yeah, uh, yes please, I will purchase this. And it didn't have a price on it, so that means any unpriced purses are $2. So when I went through the checkout, I was like, this didn't have a price on it, so I would assume that it would be a dollar then today, because it's the half off day. So then she's like, okay, 50 cents. I'm like, okay. And so she she per gave this to me for 50 cents. And the only downfall on this one is that these straps here, let me show you. These straps here are both broken off, which is a huge bummer because those are the clasps for the strap. So I don't know if there's a way I could try and fix that, but to go over uh, the Louis Vuitton, I was, you know, skeptical about this whether it was official or not. I, like I said, I'm not a big Louis Vuitton person, so I don't know everything about it. So if you guys know anything about the Louis Vuitton prints, you can let me know. But I do know that this brown and tan part, or yeah, that that is the Louis Vuitton logo. But then it had all these pink little happy faces on it, and I was like, does that mean it's fake or is it actually an official Louis Vuitton? I was not 100% sure, so I did look it up, and it seemed like they do have this print, so that's news to me, but it's got like gold hardware on this as well, so it's got the gold studding around here, and then again, you open it up, it's just, this is basically it, and it's almost like a wallet. I actually have some other thrift store stuff in here, I've got some jewelry that I put in here when I checked out, so let me take that out real quick. Okay, so as far as I know for pointing out an official versus a bootleg. So on the inside here, it is stamped in leather. The Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. So let me show you guys that right there. And that's an automatic like, giveaway, like even bootlegs have that. But also on the inside here, there is a serial number, you guys can see that, which again is stamped in leather and the printing on it is exact, it's even, it's not all over the place. And there's no stupid made in China tag, tag in here. Plus another thing is on the zipper here. It does have the Louis Vuitton uh, emblem on this on both sides, which is another official thing. The zipper opens up very nicely. Here's the inside of that. So that's pretty much the whole inside of it looking this way. And then also the strap that it came with which is just, you know, a plain and boring strap, ooh, ooh, big strap, but it's the detail on it that matters, which you look here, the buttons do have Louis Vuitton on the hardware. So everything out of this bag screams official to me, so um, that's just things that you can normally tell that it is an official bag by Louis Vuitton itself. So. I am
am pretty excited that I found this at a thrift store. I never thought in a million years that I would find a Louis Vuitton purse at a thrift store. You know, maybe like Guess or Coach, you know, but not Louis Vuitton. So I was, I'm pretty excited about this. Um, you guys can leave a comment, let me know what you guys think. Um, if you think that this is a bootleg or a non-official or if you, what I have shown you, that this is an official bag to you guys. So yeah, just feel free to let me know. And I hope you guys enjoyed this um, really girly purse or store finds. Um, if you do like these kind of videos, definitely give it a thumbs up and leave a comment to let me know, hey, we love these videos. Keep posting more videos like this. So this was just kind of a random thing that I thought I'd throw together for you guys. So yeah, I hope you guys all are having a wonderful week and I will talk to you guys all very soon in my next video. So bye guys.